I am really thrilled to be here in Leicester. Uh, it's great to be at this school that is tailored to helping the students that are interested in, in science, technology, engineering, and math uh, to realize those A-levels that are required to do take those steps. And the University of Leicester is a great platform to do that further education, becoming researchers in not so much the pure sciences, but the applied sciences. These are the engineering, the machine learnings, the computer science, um, the product developments that are required for furthering our, our progress as humans. Uh, so I'm here today to tell you about uh, my story. So why do I like working with little kids? Well, I've had little kids. Of course, they're big kids now. Uh, they're grown up. I sometimes think, oh, another space flight. Oh, all that work I have to do to go into space. I've flown six times in space. And one reporter asked me, Michael, you seemed a little jaded after your last... I, went, <laughs> I was pretty tired and I hadn't had any sleep for 23 hours. But when I talk to young people, and I mean kids in, you know, in schools, I get their energy and it really enlightens me. If you had told me two years ago when I was at... Florida, so the International Space School Education Trust provides opportunities primarily for a program called Mission Discovery, which brings in A-level students for a week from often disadvantaged schools to invent a space experiment that will then go to the International Space Station. And I and other astronauts and other uh, professionals from NASA in Houston, Texas, take part in those programs to give the students the initial grounding they need to invent that experiment, one of which is going to be flown in space that week. I hope those students today heard my story. Yeah, they think, yeah, he's that white guy. He's been, you know, probably think I'm really rich. My father was in the Royal Air Force. But I wanted to tell them about my failures or the difficulties I had. And I wanted them to hear the story of how, yes, it upset me. Yes, it sent me back. But I, through maybe good fortune, um, found a way around those and found my way forward to achieve my goals. So I want, to, I want them to see that. The other part of it, I want to see the m different ways you can achieve a goal. It's not just one path. So I was good at physics, and I always have been good at physics in uh, science, in, in school, and then uh, reading astronomy, all through my mother giving me books on space and science fiction books. I was bad at English literature, English language. Uh, I, was, I had a lot of difficulties in that subject. And languages, and it was French in particular, which I only just passed. And then step forward to 40 years. I'm in Russia for the, and living there for a year and a half, out of the blue, told to go there with my family. And I am going to be on a Russian space station for five months. So now I have to learn a foreign language and speak it fluently. That was the biggest challenge, but it's also the, probably the most rewarding academic challenge I've ever had in my life. One of the things I remember from Star City in Moscow, uh, is written on the high school, uchitsa, 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 and that means study, study, study. The repetition is the mother of all learning, is what Vladimir Lenin said. And actually, I think he's right <laughs> on that one. <laughs>